I had quite a laugh today at the expense of the service station attendant. Uh, he was attempting to scrape the bird droppings off my windshield and uh, I never let on that they were on the inside. I said, fill her up. The guy said, regular? I said, no, like this. <laughs> ah, it's nice to be here in Chicago. I was in the library. The guy is very rude. I said, I like a card. He says, you have to prove you're a citizen of Chicago. So I stabbed him. <laughs> and... Uh, <laughs> Keep your seats. You know, um, I didn't know what to wear actually, and my mom said, Emo, why don't you wear your uh, grandfather's tuxedo? So I grabbed a shovel and I'm uh, digging and uh, digging and anyway. I still live at home with my family. It's nice, you know. The other day, uh, I was reminded of when I was a kid. And remember one day, I'll never forget, I was about five years old and I was playing one day and I saw the cellar door open just a crack. Now my parents had warned me, Emo, don't go near the cellar door. But I had to see what was on the other side. So I took a deep breath. And I pushed the door and I walked through and I saw strange, wonderful things. Things I had never seen before, like trees and grass and clouds and the sun and flowers. Oh, it was wonderful. Oh, memories. Yeah. I had a nice child that I couldn't even cross the street after that without my family getting all excited and placing bets. Uh, I'd be in my backyard minding my own business, yet the kids would call me names like Puke Face and Neo Calvinist, and I'd run after them, but lucky for them, <laughs> the chain would snuff my neck back, and they would escape. Remember, I had a very close relationship with this other child. I was his imaginary friend. And I remember uh, once in school, I was sent to the principal and he said, Emo, you have to go to the psychologist. I said, why? So he showed me the petition. And I go. And... Uh, Hand me that hot mama. Thank you, hot mama. <laughs> you know, I go to the psychologist. He said, Emo, I want you to say the first word that pops into your mind. House. I said, security. He said, love. I said, affection. He says, mother. I said, love. He said, son. I said, life. He said, baby. I said, renewal. He said, well, Emo, there's nothing wrong with your head. I said, guillotine. <laughs> well, uh, he says, I, and you want to know how tricky those guys are? He said, I want you to have this chocolate Easter bunny. So I ate it, and I see him writing something down. I said, wait a second, was that a test? He says, yes. I said, what does it mean? He said, well, had you eaten the ears first, you would have been normal. Had you eaten the feet first, you would have had an inferiority complex. Had you eaten the, the tail first, you would have had latent homosexual tendencies. And had you eaten the breasts first, you would have had a latent Oedipal complex. I said, well, go on. Uh, what does it mean when you bite out the eyes and scream, stop staring at me? <laughs> and, um... <laughs> says, it shows you the tendency towards self-destruction. I said, what do you recommend? He said, go for it. <laughs> so, I don't know. I had a nice childhood. I remember in high school I had fun. I got beat up all the time. 
<laughs> the principal said he couldn't have stopped the beatings, but he arranged for me to get gym credit for them. <laughs> yeah, that was nice. I remember when I went to college, my dad said, how are you going to college? I guess you're going to think you're smarter than your old man. Huh? I said, I don't know. I mean, who is he? <laughs> well, I was in the ROTC program. I used to ditch all the time. Once I'm walking through campus, in fact, and my, uh, my professor sees me. He said, Evo, it's been six weeks since I've seen you in camouflage class. I said, I'm getting good. <laughs> wanted to be in this fraternity. You know what they said? They said, if you want to be in our fraternity, tomorrow morning at 11 a.m. you have to stand outside the cafeteria naked begging for people to spit on you. <laughs> I said, well, forget it. I'm not doing it an hour early. <laughs> I don't know. Who needs that balloon? Anyway, you know, a lot of you are probably worried that I'll reproduce. Well, so am I, because I just had my first taste of babysitting the other day. My sister had this baby, you know. She's very proud of the baby. We can have company over. She'll be in front of everyone with her breast out feeding him cereal or whatever. But the uh, other day, I'm babysitting him. She had to go to a carnival to uh, look for the father. So, um, pushing him through the park, and he's crying, you know, because I forgot the stroller. And uh, I take him home, and I'm trying to rinse out his diaper in the toilet. Do you ever rinse out a baby's diaper in the toilet? Oh, I accidentally let go of his foot, and uh, I'm spinning around. And I'm trying to get him out with the plunger, you know, because you, you can't use Drano because that will hurt a child, you know, and he, uh, he, dis he disappears, you know, and I thought, now I'm going to get it. And just then I hear crying from downstairs, and I run downstairs, and he's come out of the first floor toilet all safe and sound, and I pick him up, and just then my sister comes home. I said, hey, I want to show you a trick. So <laughs> we had a good time. How many people here are like me? Now, I'm no good in the morning unless I've had that first hot piping pot of coffee. Anyone like that? Oh, I've tried other enemas, but somehow... Just not the same, you know. of the morning, I went to the kitchen, my sister made some eggs, so we cooked them, and I, uh, I uh, went outside, spent the whole day trying to get our neighbor's cat down from the tree, and I just couldn't, because oh, I'm a horrible shot, yeah, I love animals. I have a love for animals that's almost illegal. In fact, I had a cat when I was a kid, cute little cat. Once my cat gave birth to kittens and my dad took me and the kittens to the lake and we drowned them. And I was crying my eyes out because I couldn't get them to skip. <laughs> uh, I love animals. Well, live and learn. You know, this reminds me of, want me to do my tribute to Elvis? Thanks, Elvis. Okay. You know who my hero was as a kid? James Dean, huh, boy? Could that guy make sausages or what? know what you want. You would like a riddle, wouldn't you? <laughs> What's the difference between a bowl of chili and a urologist? <laughs> One's hot and spicy, the other 
analyzes urine. <laughs> I get it now. That is a good one. You know, riddles can save your life. I thought I was being followed by a paid assassin, but the guy's a volunteer. And, uh, well, you know how you're in bed at night and your house starts making noises you don't hear during the daytime? Weird noises, scary noises, like... Or, um, emo, I'm gonna kill you. <laughs> yeah? I remembered that song. Whenever I feel afraid, I whistle a happy tune. And I started whistling. <laughs> and I felt a hand around my neck and a voice said, Thanks, I thought I'd never find you in the dark. <laughs> And the light goes on, and there's this guy standing over me with the gun. He says, take advantage of my little sister, will you? I said, sure, where is she? <laughs> <laughs> and he shows me this picture of a girl. I said, I don't know her. He said, look at her again. I said, I don't know her. And he gets nervous, and his hands start shaking. And with it, the picture starts shaking. I said, oh, now I remember her. <laughs> so I said, look, I'll tell you a riddle, and if you get it, I'll marry her. But if you don't get it, you have to let me go. He said, why should I? I said, oh, come on. He said, okay, what's the riddle? <laughs> I, I said, I said, what is it that has four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs at night? He says, well, the answer is man, who in the morning uh, crawls on four legs because he's a baby, and in the afternoon he walks upright on two legs because he's an adult, and in the evening he's an old man with a cane, and that's three legs. I said, wrong, it's a donkey who has four legs in the morning, and in the afternoon you chop two of them off, and in the evening you glue one back on again. <laughs> what a moron. So oh, I got out of that one, all right. So, live and learn. <laughs> oh, yeah. Well, uh... Uh, you've been a lot of fun, and you folks have really cheered me up, and I needed cheering up. I, I did a dumb thing. I uh, loaned a friend of mine $10,000 for plastic surgery, and now I don't know what he looks like. And, uh, so, uh, um, thank you very much. And if there's any young ladies here that <laughs> would like some action, I'll admit I'm a, you know, I'm quite handy with the ladies, you know. In fact, I was with this girl the other night, and I don't want to brag, <laughs> but from the way she was responding to my skillful caresses, you would have sworn that she was conscious. <laughs> oh. 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 Oh, boy. <laughs> From the tip of her head to the tag on her toes. Oh, oh, oh. She was all right. You know, back in high school, my buddies tried to put the make on anything that moved. And I told them, why limit yourself? I mean, is too short and always remember wherever you go the last words of my grandfather who said a trap thank you and good night. bye